New Sigmund Chloride series, or you see Macrorystial and obtain the power series of sine x up to the term in x cubed. So in Macrorystial series is our point when a is equals to zero in the Taylor series. So when you want to expand the function of x in Macrorystial series, you start from f, f of zero. So Macrorystial series is strictly a certain class of x. That is where you get x cubed. Many if you differentiate the third derivative, will give you x cubed. The second derivative, x squared. The first derivative, x to the power 1. No derivative, meaning here is x to the power 0. That's why x is silent, isn't it? Anything raised to the power 0 is 1, isn't it? So, when you are expanding the function f of x in Maturin series, you start from f of 0. Then, after f of 0, you differentiate f of 0. So, you leave a space where you have to add something there. Then plus, you differentiate for the second time, you leave a space, then plus, you differentiate for the third time. When you have triple prime, it's when you are going to get the x cube, and that's the last time they want you to reach. Are you seeing that? So you see, when you differentiate once, it means it is over 1 factorial. Then your x is raised to plus power 1. Are you together? When you differentiate twice, it means it is over 2 factorial and your x is raised to power that 2. Is that okay? When you differentiate the third derivative, 3 means it is over 3 factorial, then your x is raised to power that 3. So you see, you bring the term in x, in x cube. So the Maclury series, the f of zeros is what we are dealing with. Are you seeing that? Start from f of 0, you differentiate <coughs> twice, twice. You continue until you reach the term they need. Is that okay? So after that, we now, after putting down the formula, we now go to what do they want us to obtain. They want us to obtain the power series of sine, sine x. Meaning they are telling us that our function, our function of x is sine, is sine x. So this is the function of x. So after getting this, we now differentiate it until we get f triple prime. Are you seeing that? So here, if you differentiate f of x for the first time, if you differentiate sine x, you get cos, the derivative of sine x is positive cos x, isn't it? Then, if you now differentiate it for the second time, if you differentiate this single prime, you get double prime, isn't it? So f double prime, if you differentiate cos x, you get negative, because the inner function is x, if you differentiate the inner function x, you get 1. That's why we are not concentrating the inner function, isn't it? Because the outer function times the inner function, that is the chain rule, isn't it? So the inner function, the derivative of x is just 1, the derivative is just 1. So we are not interested in the inner function. Positive, this derivative is 1. Are we together? Is that okay? Yes. So you move on. If you differentiate it for the third time, f triple prime of x, Negative is a constant, negative 1 is a constant, in other words, if you differentiate sine x, you get cos x. So cos x times the negative, which is there? Negative cos x. So we found up to f triple prime. Are you seeing that? But what do we need? We need, we need f of 0. Are you seeing that? So for us to get f of 0, meaning here we have f of x, so where there's x we put? 0. So where the sex we put 0, meaning f of 0 is sine 0, isn't it? So what is sine 0? Your calculator, we are dealing with always, when we are dealing with power series, your calculator must be pi radians. Your calculator must be r. If you are working on power series with a d in a calculator, then you are doing absolutely a very wrong thing. Whether you are told to find an angle which is in degrees, you must convert it to pi radians. Are you seeing that? Are we together? I'm making that point very clear because somebody will come and mess up with the degrees again. Is that okay? Must be in R, high radians. So if you are told it is, you are dealing with 30 degrees, this 30 degrees you must convert to pi radians. Is that okay? Always deal with the pi, the standard unit of measurement. So there, what is sign zero? Zero. Then we now want f prime of zero. What is f prime of 0? It means when the set we put 0, then we'll be able to get f prime of 0, isn't it? Are we together? So f prime of 0 is cos 0. So what is cos 0? 1. Then we now want f double prime of 0, isn't it? 
So it means where the result we put zero, isn't it? Zero, zero. So negative sign zero. What is delta u prime zero? Zero. Negative sign zero is zero, isn't it? Then you move again. We need f triple prime of zero. F triple prime of zero. Where the result we put zero, so we have f triple prime of zero, isn't it? F triple prime of zero is negative cos cos zero. So what do you get to be negative cos zero? Negative one. Negative one. So we found f of zero, we found f prime of zero, we found f double prime of zero, we found f two prime of zero. So it means what we are doing is substituting. We've also found f of x we were given, isn't it? So can we now substitute? Where there is f of x, we put the value of f of x, which is f of x is sine. We are doing the substitution in the formula a sine x is equal to f of zero, we found this, meaning this term is not there, isn't it? Are we together? Then you move again, f prime of zero, you found this, is one. So you go to the calculator, one over one factorial is just one, isn't it? Times x raised to power one, see the whole of this you remain with x. Are we together? Because f prime of zero is one. So one over one factorial is one, times x raised to power one is just x, isn't it? So there we have x. Then we move to this term, isn't it? Are we together? F double prime of zero, you found this? Zero times everything here will go to zero, isn't it? Meaning the whole of this term is zero. Are we together? We are done with that. We go to the last term. So the last term, F triple prime of zero, you found to be? Negative one. So we have negative one over three factorial. What is the calculator giving you? Negative one over three factorial. Negative one over three factorial. That is negative one over six. What is the calculator giving you? Something which is very straightforward. So negative one over six times x cube, you get negative one over six x x cube. Then you can now see you've expanded sine x in the Maclaurin series up to the term in x cube. Are we together? Is that okay? So that is how to deal with functions. More so the trigonometric function on a Maclaurin series.